All right, good afternoon, everyone. Let's do a little weather update here for severe thunderstorm chances late tomorrow night. That's late Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning. This is the first page of our decision support services packet, which can be find, found on our webpage. Uh, right now, we're expecting maybe some lingering rain and storms across the region early Tuesday morning through sunrise. Don't expect this activity to be severe at this time. Then as we get through the afternoon and things start to recover a little bit, we might have an isolated shower, maybe a storm mid to late afternoon in southeast Kansas to southwestern Missouri. Still not highly confident in that right now, so we'll definitely have to pay attention to that as we move through, through the day tomorrow. Then the main show will be later tomorrow night as a line of strong to severe thunderstorms moves into the region after midnight, likely reaching the Missouri-Kansas border region in the KC metro area, probably somewhere between about 1 a.m. to 2 a.m., really. Uh, given the current guidance, but we're definitely have to narrow that narrow, narrow that down tomorrow as we get through the day and move towards uh, this event. Primary hazards with this line of thunderstorms that moves in overnight tomorrow night into early Wednesday will be damaging winds. There might be a large hail risk really early in the event. That's mainly for parts of eastern Kansas, out into central Kansas, the initial activity. And we might have a chance of a spin-up tornado embedded along that line as it moves into the region. Uh, in addition to that strong, strong to severe threat, uh, storms will also be capable of producing very heavy rainfall, which may lead to flooding. But at this time, it looks like system, the system is going to be pretty progressive as it moves through the metro area, given the latest guidance. So it might limit our flood threat. However, I, I wouldn't keep your, I wouldn't let your guard down. Uh, a lot can change between now and tomorrow night. Okay, I mentioned the wind threat. This is the current severe wind outlook uh, for tomorrow night into early Wednesday morning. The hatched area there across central into southeastern Kansas and eastern Kansas is basically for a 10% probability of significant wind gusts greater than 74 miles an hour. So as this line moves into the region, there's a good chance we could see pockets of 70 plus mile an hour winds across the area as it moves in through early Wednesday morning. Take a look at one of our uh, models here and showing you kind of a, a model reflectivity to give you an idea of what it might look like as we move through time. Uh, you'll notice the initial convection will start out there in central Kansas as the system moves in. And then as we get into the evening hours uh, towards, uh, this is 11 p.m., things start to congeal into a line. And that's what we're, we're really looking for for our region is that line of thunderstorms moving in. This is 1 a.m. on Wednesday, starting to push into portions of the far uh, eastern side or western side of the KC metro area there in eastern Kansas. And then the line moves in between about 2 to 3 a.m. with this current model. Again, that might have some differentiation in time there, but line moves through. Uh, the region greatest chance for severe risk is really kind of south of the Missouri River. Can't rule anything out up north of the river across northwestern Missouri, but the main activity looks like it should be south of the Missouri River, but definitely rain for everyone. And then if we get lingering storms, this is 6 a.m. on Wednesday, could become a flash flooding concern, and, and especially we need to watch that very closely. So to, to wrap up here, here's the forecast rainfall. Cut it back a little bit because the latest guidance has that line moving through a lot faster than we originally uh, expect, or than the earlier models had. But again, if, if things start to change, that line slows down a little bit, doesn't move through as fast, we could see locally uh, higher amounts of maybe four to five inches in some places. Uh, so definitely need to keep your, your guard up there for the flash flooding concern and river flooding issues across the region, especially along the Missouri-Kansas border region and into eastern Kansas. So we'll keep you updated as we move through this event, but just wanted to give you a little bit of an idea of what we're looking at right now. Uh, always reach out to the office if you have any questions. Uh, appreciate you and stay safe out there.